Praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning. God is good and his loyal love is everlasting. For this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. I want to welcome him here this morning to our New Beginnings Apostolic Community Church live service. We certainly appreciate you tuning in this morning, uh, hearing the word of the Lord. I'm excited about the word today and God is so kind and he just keeps giving me fresh manner every week and and I thank him for that because we can never exhaust the Bible. Uh, you can certainly read a scripture and still glean from it. And God gives you fresh revelation, fresh anointing with his word in his fresh manner every single day. So I'm excited about the word today. Today we're going to be in the book of Genesis, chapter number 22. I'm going to read a portion of God's word, verses 1 through 19. So hold your place there in the book of Bereshit. Genesis in the beginning, Genesis chapter number 22, and then I will give you my thought for this morning. Prayer certainly is always the order of the day. I continue to lift you up in prayer, your loved ones, family members, uh, glory to God. I continue to, we continue to solicit your prayers for our family, ministry, and everything God is doing in our lives. So we we touch and agree collectively together. One can send a thousand to flight, two can send ten thousand to flight. Hallelujah. And we give God glory. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Barukatai Adonai Elachenu Malika Halom. You're blessed the Lord God because you're sovereign, omnipotent. Glory to God. King of the universe. You are the king. You are Hamelik. And you have no equals. You have no graduation in your excellency. You're Elohim. You're the God man. We thank you for your word, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you for these last 6,000 years, Lord. It's been a work. Hallelujah. From Adam to right now today, Lord. We thank you for the second Adam 2,000 years ago that Yeshua died on the tree for mankind. We thank you that for, the, for this great gift, this Doria, this gift of salvation. We thank you for this gift of the down payment of the Holy Ghost. We thank you, Father, for eternal life. We thank you, Father, glory to God, that was sold out to you. You have our all, Lord. We thank you that you're providing all of our needs according to your riches and glory. We thank you that you covered and protected us by your precious blood that you shed on Calvary. We thank you, Father, that we're in our right mind, our soundness of mind, that our bodies are working properly. Glory to God, from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet. And we give you glory. We thank you that we continue to stay thirsty for your word, hungry for your word. Hallelujah. And we're not ashamed of the euangelion. We're not ashamed of the gospel and we thank you and we praise you we give you glory we give you honor take over this clay tongue this temporary clay tongue for your glory lord let your word go forth and never return back Lord, as the bible says we thank you we praise you we glorify your name your sovereign name and the holy spirit is welcomed here at this very moment we thank you we're engulfed by the holy ghost Hallelujah. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We give you praise, give you glory, give you honor in your magnificent name of Yeshua HaMashiach. And let everyone say uh, amen. Glory to God. If you will, uh, we're going to be in Genesis chapter number 22. Thank you, Genesis number 22. I'm going to read verses 1 through 19. It's a very, should be a very familiar passage of Scripture to you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It is still powerful. It is still effervescent. We can still glean from it. It's still bubbly, as Bishop Queen would say. We see that in chapter number 22 that Abraham's faith is confirmed. And I thank the Lord, glory to God, for the Bible says he gives every man a measure of faith. Hallelujah. The Bible says without faith it's impossible to please God. So what do we thank you, Father? Glory to God for that measure of faith. But the Bible says in chapter number 22, verse number 1 says this. Hallelujah. Now it came to pass after these things that Elohim, he tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham. And he said, here I am. In the Hebrew tongue. It's Hen-e-ni, hen -e -ni. here I am. And he said, take now your son, your only son, whom you love, 
and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which I shall tell you. Hmm, that's a pause right there. His only son. So Abraham rose early in the morning and saddled his donkey and took two of his young men with him and Isaac his son and split the wood for the burnt offering and arose and went to a place of which Elohim had told him. Verse number four. Then on the third day, Abraham lifted his eyes and saw the place far off. So it was a three day journey. Glory to God. There's no, no Ubers or cars or anything like that or... Yeah. Horse and buggy, they were on feet. So Abraham said to his young men, Stay here with the donkey and the lad, and I will go yonder and worship. Shaka, it's the Hebrew word to worship. And we will come back to you. That's a powerful statement right there in itself. Hmm. Because Abraham knew what he was about to do, what he was called to do. But that's faith right there. That's a powerful faith statement. Isaac had no idea what was going on. Verse number six. So Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering and laid it on Isaac, his son, and took his, the fire in his hand and a knife, and the two of them went together. But Isaac spoke to Abraham, his father, and said, My father. And he said, Hanani. He said, Here I am, my son. Then he said, Look, the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? And Abraham said, my son, Elohim will provide for himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So the two of them went together. Hallelujah. And I'm going to tell you something. Whatever you believe in Elohim for, he, he's got that for you. He's going to provide for you. Just keep on holding on to the horns of the altar. Keep believing Keep trusting. Keep thanking him. Hallelujah. Toda Rava Yeshua. Lord, I thank you. I know it's coming. Hallelujah. Whatever you've been praying for, believe it in faith. It's coming. I hope you receive that in faith. Whoever that was for, catch it in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. Verse number nine. Then they came to a place of which Elohim told, had told him, and Abraham built an altar there and placed the wood in order, and he bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar upon the wood, and Abraham stretched out his hand and took the knife to slay his son. But the angel of the Lord, yod heh vav -Heh, that's in capitalized letters, yod heh vav -Heh, called him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. So he said, Hanani, Hanani, here I am. And he said, do not lay your hand on the lad or do anything to him. For now I know your deed. In Hebrew, to know, I need <coughs> your deed. I know that you fear God, since you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. Then Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and there behind him was a ram caught in the thicket by the horns. So Abraham took, went and took the ram and offered it up for the burnt offering instead of his son. And Abraham called the name of this place, the Lord, yod heh vav -Heh, will provide. And he, it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord, it shall be provided. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Then the angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time out of heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, say the Lord, because you have done this thing. And have not withheld your son, your only son. Blessings, I will bless you, multiply. I will multiply your descendants at the stars of heaven and the land and the sand which is on the seashore. And your descendants shall possess the gates of the enemy. In your seed, all the nations of the earth, haharetz, the earth, this, this, this terra firma we're on right now, shall be blessed. Baruch, blessed, blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. So Abraham returned to his young men, and, the, and they rose and went together to Bathsheba, and Abraham dwelt in Bathsheba. Uh, glory to God. Verse number 14, and Abraham called the name of the place, the Lord will provide. What a statement of faith. Hallelujah. Of Abraham to Isaac. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Elohim who sees everything. As God provided a ram instead of Abraham's son. So one day. Hallelujah. Echad. Yom. Uh, and one day. Hallelujah. He would provide his own son. Yeshua. Moriah is, is where Jerusalem and later the temple would be built. And it was at Jerusalem that the Savior would die. Verse number 16, I sworn by myself. By myself, I, I swear I bring myself under complete obligation. That's what Yeshua is saying. When a man took an oath, it was considered unchangeable. When God took an oath, his eternity guaranteed the fulfillment of his word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. I, I love verse Number 18, hallelujah. In, in the Bible says, in, in your seed all the nations shall be blessed. But glory to God, hallelujah. Verse, the, the chapter, verse before 17, you shall, you shall possess the gates, your descendants shall possess the gates of your enemies. Glory to God. See, in ancient times, walled cities, uh, the structure protecting the gate was the most important. To control the gate was to control the city. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. My thought for this morning would be this. Elohim wants our all. He doesn't want 10%, 50%, 99%. Hallelujah. He wants our all. Uh, this walk is a special walk. It's a blessed walk. It's an awesome walk. Hallelujah. You've got the revelation from Elohim about being born of the water and of the spirit. Hallelujah. And as God's called you and you received it in faith, we are a small flock. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And it's our obligation to keep on teaching, keep on preaching, keep on declaring. Hallelujah. How you must be born of the water and of the spirit. Except a man be born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. But I love this text here. I love chapter 22 because it, it's, it's Abraham's faith was tested. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And let me tell you something, saints. Genuine faith is demonstrated always by obedience. And, and I want to pose a question to you. Just think about this. When you're sitting in your secret place or you're, you're having a cup of coffee and a cup of tea and sitting outside and just Thinking about Yeshua and has ever God ever spoken to you about making just this monumental or substantial sacrifice when life was comfortable for you? He certainly done it in my life. Glory to God. He, he called me. He said, I want you to preach the gospel. And I said, me? Why? Lord, you got all so many people that are so much more qualified than me and got masters and PhDs and Glory to God and titles in front of them. But guys, he said, I chose you. Hallelujah. So I thank him. And let me tell you something. It is a privilege. Glory to God. If God has called you, saved you, delivered you, rescued you, and called you to preach the gospel. Not everyone is a pastor. No? Glory to God. But we're all called to preach the gospel. The death, burial, and resurrection. Because when it's all said and done, glory to God, eternity is too long. Don't get this thing wrong. You got one shot going through this life. Glory to God. Folks are losing their life every single day. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. And I, you think about this, the story here. And Abraham didn't really understand God's command, but, but he still trusted God. Hallelujah. And we can trust Elohim when our faith is tested. Yes, we can. Glory to God. When, when life feels out of control, hallelujah, and life is life. There's sometimes in, in my life I say, Lord, I just need a recess. It seems like there's a bombardment a day after day after day after day after day. But Lord says, he, 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 says, he says, just trust me. I got this. Hallelujah. And I'm reminded of, of, of Bishop Queen would say, settle this in your mind. That way you can have a peace about it. 
And, and it, it's, it's, it's a challenge and it's something you have to work on. The adversary is going to attack you. Just talking about a saint of God. Because we're the closest thing to Yeshua. He's going to attack every single day. He's going to bombard your mind every single day. Glory to God. And if you know that, you know how to defeat that. Glory to God. You're not caught off guard. Glory to God. For the Bible says when the enemy comes in like a flood, Yeshua lifts up a standard against him. So I say, Lord, thank you. Until you take your last breath, your last breath on this side, there's a fight to the finish. The devil's always trying to knock us out the box. But greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. For the Bible says he always, not every now and then, but he always causes me to triumph. I say, mighty God is he. Hallelujah. Elohim doesn't require us to do anything that would destroy his promise. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua. And, and I, I have another question for you. And I just, I'm going to get into my message in a moment. But I, I just want you, to, I want you to get this in your spirit. And why is it so hard for us to see Elohim at work in our lives when we're in the middle of difficult times? Because, because we, t- we, we take our eyes off of him. We, we focus on, on the problem instead of the promise. Glory to God. And we've all done that. But Lord, thank you for the Holy Ghost. Because the Holy Ghost will snatch you back and say, you're focusing on the wrong thing. You're focusing on the problem. You're focusing on the circumstance. I'm in control. I'm sovereign. You're a finite creature. I'm infinite. Glory to God. My ways are not your ways. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so many people Quit right when you're at the finish line. Glory to God. So you got to settle in your mind. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm going to stay firm and settled. I'm going to hold on to the horns of the altar. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In the name of Yeshua Hamashiach. Elohim revealed himself to Abraham as Yodhevavhe, Jehovah Jireh. Hallelujah. And I'm going to trust in him in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Abraham's faith was tested. Your faith will be tested on a regular basis. Hallelujah. I know folks don't want to hear that, but it will be tested. Glory to God. And I said before, I'll say it again. Genuine faith is demonstrated by obedience. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach. Thank you, Father. Isaac was a gift from God. Hallelujah. We get our root word for, for gift. It's matan. It, it means reward. It, it also means rain. But in the masculine, in the Hebrew tongue, it's hanan, gift. Without God, there'd be no Isaac. Hallelujah. Without God, there'd be no you. And and I thought about this. I thought about my mother and father. My mother from a Midwestern town, Des Moines, Iowa. And I thought about my dad in Massachusetts, a small New England town. How could God orchestrate that they would meet one another? I think about my wife's mother and dad. She grew up in North Carolina and and her dad growing up in Cape Cod, New England town. How can God orchestrate two people coming together? Hmm. Without God, there'd be no Isaac. Without God, there'd be no you. And I say, mighty God is he. Hallelujah. I think about how I met my wife and both of us from Massachusetts. But glory to God, hallelujah. 3,000 miles away and one day would meet. On a street. Hallelujah. Wouldn't have my children. Glory to God. You ought to thank him every single day. Hallelujah. Without God, there'd be no Isaac. Without God, there'd be no you. Abraham and Sarah, they were, they were certainly well, I want to say, into their retirement years. And, and they were, we all know the story. They were well past 
childbearing years. But every day Abraham, he woke up to see his son Isaac uh, farming. This was an agricultural society, an Nigerian society. That's how, how, how they lived, glory to God. Farming in the field. And, and that was, he said, that's a good day. Hallelujah. He, he, he saw a, a visible reminder that Elohim keeps his word. It's good to go down memory lane. Hallelujah. Son, I, I think about my son. It's good to get down memory Think about God, what God has done for you. How he blessed you. Continues to provide for you. You got to thank him every single day. Hallelujah. Elohim spoke to Abraham again. It's been a while since God had spoken. But whenever God spoke, it was usually good news. Hmm. We all want to hear good news. What would God promise today? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Abraham, he, he, he kind of tuned his ears in a little bit and to, to hear. And uh, we got our, our Hebrew word Shema to, to hear God's voice. And God said, in verse number two, chapter number 22, hallelujah. Take now thy son, thy only son, Isaac, Yitzchak, whom thou lovest, and get thee in the land of Moriah, and offer him as a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I tell of thee, of. This news wasn't good news. God had called Abraham to sacrifice his son for whom he had waited 25 years. How would he respond? Matter of fact, how will you respond? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Many of us know God does not bless human sacrifice. The devil is a liar. But we can breathe easy in knowing that he will not ask us to sacrifice our own children. But what if you spent your life, this is kind of a scenario here, just a thought, you spent your whole life saving the Hey, I'm going to build that house. And when you finally get it built, all the dollars and all those years, God asks you, get, you know, all the money you put into it, he says, I want you to sell it and just give it away. Give it to, to missions. Glory to God. That may be as close as you come to sacrifice such as Abraham was faced with making. In the, verse, in the, third, in the third chapter, in the verse, in uh, chapter number 22, in Genesis, could have begun a multitude of ways. What am I saying? Abraham fought with God. Abraham could have questioned God. Abraham could have ignored God. Or even Abraham walked away from Elohim. But instead it begins, so Abraham rose early in the morning. This is chapter number, verse number three. And saddled his donkey and took two of his young men with him and Isaac his son and he split the wood for the burnt offering and arose and went to a place in which God had told him. Abraham obeyed God because Abraham understood genuine faith is demonstrated by obedience. For the Bible says, the writer in Hebrews chapter 11, verse number 1, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith is the substance. We get a Greek word called hypostasis. And when you break it down, it means superstructure. Faith is the hypostructure. Glory to God. Whatever the things not seen. Abraham obeyed God because Abraham understood genuine faith is demonstrated by obedience. When we have faith in Elohim, we're going to obey his commands. Might not know how he wants it's going to play out. Glory to God. Sometimes he just gives us a little bit at a time. Hallelujah. Doesn't give us the whole story. Most times we don't get the whole story. We get, we get bits and pieces. It's a faith wall. This is a faith walk. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Abraham didn't understand God's plan. But look at the conjunction here. But he did trust God. It didn't make sense to kill the promised son who would branch a family tree into, into thousands and thousands. Matter of fact, into millions, into millions. But God did not call Abraham to understand him. He called Abraham to trust him. Glory to God. God is calling us today, hallelujah, to trust him in every situation, every circumstance, every decision, every trial, every test. 
Glory to God. And I'm speaking to someone that's tuning in right now. And I know this message is going to be forwarded on to someone else. Glory to God. God knows who needs to hear this. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. He's testing us. He, said, he, says, he says, in all situations, you've got to believe in me. For the Bible says all things work together for good for them that love God. Those that are called according to his purpose. Just say, I'm called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. And my God always, not every now and then, hallelujah, but he always causes me to triumph. That's a faith statement. Hallelujah. This passage in the book of Genesis is part of, of the nature of God, we, we, we certainly really understand. We, 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 you and I, we, we struggle to understand when God allows us to walk through tragedy. Hmm. When God could do something about it and does nothing about it. Elohim could have probably stopped. Could have been an accident. Maybe the company you were working for had kind of kept it afloat. Could have healed the disease and maybe restored a family and could have paid that bill off, glory to God, with the bank, whatever. He could do it all just like that, even by sunset. But he, he could have just waved his hand and emptied every single hospital and turned every funeral home and, into a celebration. But just because he could do that doesn't mean he, he will. We don't understand all of God's ways, but his ways are not for us to understand where we are to trust him. Hallelujah. He's still Elohim. He sits high. He looks low. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous day and night. Hallelujah. He's still Tob. He's still good. He's still God dole. He's still great. He's still in control. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. All the question marks of the past would be positive as in the future. Hallelujah. It's one thing. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Glory to God. For Abraham to trust God. But what about Isaac? Hallelujah. All he knew was his father. All he was knew was his dad. And just a handful of servants were going on a, I want to say, so-called road trip to worship God. When they arrived at the mountain, God spoke to Abraham like, I want to say, I'm going to use today's vernacular, like a GPS voice. And yes, God can speak to you audibly. How, and God's been so kind to me personally. He's spoken to me audibly on about three different occasions. And he even called me by my name. Powerful. When he first did it, I almost jumped out of my skin. I said, Lord, thank you. But he, he, he spoke to Abraham. He said, you have reached your destination. Hallelujah. Abraham turned to his, his servants and, 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 and nodded and said, now, now, gentlemen, stay right here. The lad and I will go yonder and worship. Look at the statement after that. And we will come back to you. That's a statement of faith. See, Isaac didn't know what was going on. Abraham knew what was happening. He knew what God called them to do. Hallelujah. They stayed for a while. And, and Abraham and Isaac, they, 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 they marched toward up the mountain. Glory to God. As they climbed up the mountain, Isaac began. He said, oh, let, me, let, me, let me just kind of see what's going on around me. Let me take some so-called inventory, amen. Dad, I, I, I see we got the wood. Dad, I, I see we got the knife. Uh, so, uh, uh, what we need, what do we need for the fire? And, but, 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 but I know we got all, everything we need. Wood, fire, and knife, and everything. Glory to God. But where's the lamb for the sacrifice? See, Isaac knew there was always a lamb for a sacrifice. Isaac looked around to see if anything was trailing Necessarily behind him. Uh, was there a hoof, print, a hoof print somewhere on the mountain? Glory to God. Abraham replied with such faith. Hallelujah. Yod he vav he. Jehovah Jireh. Hallelujah. God will provide. Uh, hallelujah. God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. No one knows if Abraham really knew what he was saying when he said it. Elohim will provide. Words are powerful. Life and death is in the power of our tongue. God's word goes forth, never returns back void. Glory to God, hallelujah, in the name of Yeshua. See, when they, they reach the, the peak of the mountain, 
Abraham, he, 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 he now unloaded the wood off, off of Isaac's shoulders and he built an offering to the Lord and then he turned to Isaac and began to, 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 to tie the lad's hands. I'm sure Isaac is like, Dad, what are you doing? Hallelujah. And what was he doing? And, and why was he tying Isaac's hands? And Isaac didn't do anything wrong, glory to God. He certainly didn't deserve this, amen. But although Abraham was, was still strong, 100 years old, but still strong. I mean, they went up a mountain, and you know, they were on a road for three days, but he was still 100 years old. Isaac was stronger. He could have fought off an overpowered 100-year-old man, his dad. Isaac could have run down the mountain screaming for help to rescue him from, uh, you want to say, a lunatic father, a crazy father out of his mind, but, but he trusted his dad's ability to hear from God. Hallelujah. That's why we have to be examples to our children, that we, we trust God. Hallelujah. And, and as we walk as, as a family, glory, our children see that we, we trust God in every situation and circumstance, and there are hard times, glory to God. You can be on the, the mountaintop, you can be in the valley, but glory to God, they're going to be able to glean from that. Glory to God and take that into their lives because we're not going to always be with them but our children all the time. Glory to God. And they got to work out their own salvation with fear and trembling. But glory to God, they can go back into this reticular activating system of this brain and remember and rehearse, glory to God, the things God has done in their lives, that God has done in our family's lives. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach. But look at Isaac. He trusted his dad's ability to hear from God. Hallelujah. Isaac obeyed Abraham. Even when Isaac didn't hear what God had spoke to Abraham, hallelujah. It took great faith, saints, great faith to offer up Isaac. I couldn't even imagine offering up my, my, my children. Think of how much faith it took, even for Isaac. This was Abraham and Isaac's greatest test of faith. And they passed the test. You know, it's interesting as, 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 as saints, uh, born again of the water of the spirit, I'm talking about saints of God. I'm not talking about some watered down version where they call, you know, said some kind of evangelical. I'm talking about being baptized in Yeshua's name, Jesus' name, being filled with the Holy Ghost, living a saved, dedicated life. Glory to God, doing your very level best to please God. Hallelujah. It seems like either you're um, going into a test you're in the middle of a test or you're coming out of a test. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But Yeshua has taken us from higher heights and deeper depths every single time. And we just keep checking that box. Another victory. Another victory. Another victory. Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father God. Nobody prays for sickness. No one prays for some accident. No one prays for it to be laid off, and no one prays for a family to be broken up. No, one, no parent prays for the children to rebel and be out in the world and, and move out. In those times, we, we have certainly very little control over uh, the outcome. We don't know if we'll be healed. We're hoping, believing, recover, find a new job, and maybe reconcile with your family. We don't know how the story ends, but God knows. Hallelujah. That's why I love Jeremiah 29. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 29 says this. Glory to God. Says this. Glory to God. God knows his plans are the perfect plans. For the Bible says this in 29 and 11. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Says the Lord. That's capitalized. That's yod Hey, vav Hey. Hallelujah. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you a future and give you a hope. Glory to God. Thank you, Father, for a future. Thank you for hope. Thank you that you're a promise keeper. You know how the story ends. Hallelujah. Those are the times we, 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 we must put our trust in Elohim. He's in control. Even we're not necessarily in 
control. He's sovereign. He has no graduation in his excellency. He's omnipotent. Uh, as Bishop Queen would say, he's potente a potente. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Abraham did not have the benefit of the Bible to read his story as it was being written. He believed he was marching up that mountain to offer his son to Elohim. But he equally believed he was marching down the mountain with his son with him. Although God had not raised anyone from the dead at this particular point, Abraham trusted God would. For the writer of the book of Hebrews, we think it's the Apostle Paul. We don't know that 100%. But the style of the writing lets us know it could be the Apostle Paul. The book of Hebrews wrote that Abraham concluded... Hebrews chapter number 11, verse number 19, for the Bible says this. Hallelujah. God was able to raise Isaac up even from the dead, for which he also received him in a figurative sense. Abraham trusted God with it when his faith was tested. And God proved himself to be faithful. Hallelujah. And I'm here to tell you today, I decree and declare God has always shown himself strong. He's proven himself to be faithful Day and day and day out. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In the name of Yeshua. Let me tell you something. God does not require us to do anything that would destroy his promise. Case in point. Isaac, he laid on the altar. I want you to visualize this. He, he, he laid on the altar, he, he bound in ropes. Glory to God. And his dad stood over him and Abraham lifted up his eyes Toward heaven, and he lifted up the knife, hallelujah, above his head. This was no game. This was no charade, or this was real life stuff. Abraham was about to offer up his promised son to God because God had asked him to. And Abraham's faith was unflappable. Glory to God, hallelujah. Just before he, he brought the knife down, the angel of the Lord called Abraham and in reply, he says, Hey, he said, him and then he. Hallelujah. He said, here I am. And the angel of the Lord gave good news to Abraham and great news, certainly to Isaac. Hallelujah. And he said, lay not thy hand upon the lad, neither do anything unto him. For now I know, you deem, I know, I know that thou fearest God, seeing that thou hast not withheld thy son. Thy only son from me. Hallelujah. We don't know how. If Isaac heard the voice of the angel. But thankfully Abraham did. Although Abraham didn't know how God was going to work it out. He knew God would not ask him to do anything. That would destroy God's promise. Isaac. Yitzchak. His Hebrew name. Isaac was undoubtedly the promised seed. To which all of Abraham's descendants would be born. Hallelujah. There's no way God could require Isaac's life for good and keep his word at the same time. Hallelujah. See, faith is, is not believing. Let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me step back for a moment. We may not understand why God asks a certain thing of us. But we can trust him anyway. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God told me, glory to God, as we were going through a situation, glory to God. And it was a difficult situation, glory to God. And God told me, he said, let it go. Release it. Let it go. And he told me crystal clear, let it go. And when I did that, glory to God, it almost seemed that it was a weight off my shoulders. Glory to God. Didn't know how things were going to work out. And, but it was like a weight off my shoulders. But he emphatically told me. He said, he said, let it go. Release it. Let it go. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Faith is not believing God will always do what we want. But faith is believing that God will always do what is right. Hallelujah. God does not have to explain himself to you and I. He's, he's sovereign. He, he, he's infinite. We're finite creatures. 
Hallelujah. Temporary at best. Glory to God. We're temporary on this terra firma. Glory to God. Uh, glory to God. He don't have to explain himself. We'd like him to, but he's Elohim. And we're not. The story shines, a, 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 I want to say, a, this, this blinding light on truth that God is trustworthy. <laughs> Saints of God, I'm telling you right now, God is trustworthy. Hallelujah. You might not know how it's going to work out, but God is trustworthy. You're waiting on a promise, but God is trustworthy. Hallelujah. Yeah, glory to God. You, you, you prayed and God's giving you revelation. He's giving you his word through a dream, a glory through another saint. That, 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 that is born again, that, that glory to God. The Bible says try the spirit by the spirit, but you know that's linked up, glory to God. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, and, and, just, and just linked up, joined together, glory to God. But you haven't seen that, 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 that promise revealed yet. It's coming. Hallelujah, it's coming. So many people quit when you're right at the finish line. Hallelujah. And Lord, I'm believing, and listen, saints, I'm believing God for a lot of things that he's promised. Glory to God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's told me, so I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. Glory to God. I'm going to provide for you. Glory to God. Keep trusting me. Keep believing in me. Keep giving me glory. So I say, Toda, Rava, Yeshua. Hallelujah. We, we lift up holy hands to him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. In the mighty name of Yeshua, Hamashiach. Glory to God. In the name of Yeshua. Hmm. Thank you, Father. Thank you. We who sit on, on, the, on the, I want to say, the, the inside of, of, of this story. Rejoice when we read about the miracle. But Abraham's story was still being written when he courageously believed God and had faith. Please God, so I will. We want to do our very level best to please God every single day. Hallelujah. And God revealed himself to Abraham as Jehovah Jireh. Hallelujah. He's revealed himself to me. He's revealed, revealed himself to my family. Hallelujah. Time after time after time after time after time. Glory to God. When you didn't see how things were going to work out. When you didn't know how things were going to be paid. When you know just situations and circumstances. And glory to God. Hallelujah. How God has brought us through with a mighty hand. And I say thank you Yeshua. And I give you glory. Hallelujah. The Lord provided for Abraham. As the Lord has provided for you and I today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You got to put feet to faith. Hallelujah. And I know the enemy is always buffing us. I know he's always trying to knock us out the box. I know it's a fight to the finish. But glory to God. You got to stay rooted and grounded. Hallelujah. You got to have like, like the Bible said like hinds feet. Glory to God. As, as, you, as you, you're on that, 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 that test on that mountain, on, on that cliff. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That you're, firm, you're, you're, you're firmly rooted and grounded in Yeshua's word. Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. I don't see how you're going to do it, but I thank you. I know you're going to do it. Lord, I thank you. I praise you. I glorify your name. I give you praise. I give you glory. Hallelujah. And it's good, hallelujah, to get in that secret place. To get on that altar, how to, whatever your altar is, hallelujah, and go before the Lord. To lay prostrate before him. How to speak, how to, how to, glory to God, speak Ephesians. Put on the whole armor of God. Because when you speak uh, Ephesians, chapter number 6, put on the whole armor of God. And when you speak in your heavenly language, see, the devil, he cannot even distinguish if that's Yeshua or it's you. It's like camouflage. Glory to God. We're covered by the blood of Yeshua Hamashiach. And I say, Lord, thank you. Thank you. There's a host of heaven surrounding us like a shield. Hallelujah. He's our battle axe. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I got no power in myself. But I got all the host of heaven surrounding me like a shield. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Elijah and Elisha, he said, they look into the mountains. Hallelujah. There's more of them with us than more with them. Glory to God, Yeshua provided for Abraham. Abraham and Isaac were about to watch a miracle in the making. Hallelujah. Abraham, I want to say so-called blood pressure, probably lowered as, as, as the knife. Glory to God. And Isaac was still in one piece, so to speak. Suddenly, <laughs> hallelujah, Abraham saw a ram. He, he said, I, I see a ram and caught in the thicket. Glory to God. So they, they had traveled several days and from home and, and they tracked up the mountain. And Abraham had built an altar and brought everything he needed to offer a sacrifice to worship God. Hallelujah. 
Glory to Abraham was not leaving without offering something to God. He went over it. He, he, he took the ram and offered it to the Lord as a burnt offering. And, and as the fire from that sacrifice went up, Abraham, he saw God in a new, in a beautiful way. Abraham already knew Elohim is El Shaddai. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The almighty Elohim. Now Abraham knew him as Jehovah Jireh, hallelujah, the Lord provides. And I'm telling you right now, God will provide. He continues to provide every single day. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. I know the devil is always trying to buff us. That's why you've got to cast down imagination. Every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of Adonai. And bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach. Glory to God. you got to, you got to have so much deposited. Hallelujah. you got to have, matter of fact, I was listening to a, a, a my wife and I, were, she tuned me into a, a, a lady that was preaching the other day, teaching the other day. And, and you know, she said, memorize 50 scriptures this month or this week. Glory. you got to have so much word, so to speak, in the bank. Glory to God. That whatever you need, because in the Bible, these 66 lights, biblical instruction before leaving earth, 39 in the old, 27 in the new, it's logos, it's written word. But when you need a rhema, you got to be able to go into your reticular activating system, as my dad would say, in, in this brain. And, and when the enemy comes in like a flood, Yeshua lifts up a standard against it. And you got to find a rhema word to, con to confront what the devil is trying to say to you. Glory to God. And you got to cast it to the ground. Put it under your feet. Glory to God. This like lightning coming out of your mouth through the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you for the Holy Ghost. Thank you for the comforter. Thank you. You're the paraclete. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And you put it in the cheapest of containers. Glory to God. Thank you for the down payment. Glory to God. In the mighty name of Yeshua Hamashiach. Glory to God. Give him a hand praise. Right where you're sitting at night right now. You got to give your all to Yeshua. Glory to God. In the name of Yeshua Hamashiach. Hmm. God spoke. I'm almost done. God spoke once more to Abraham and continued to compound his promises to bless Abraham for his faith. Then, without any kind of fanfare, so to speak, Abraham and Isaac walked back down the mountain, met with his servants, headed home. The servants had no idea what had happened on the top of the mountain. But Abraham and Isaac both had this life-altering experience with God where they saw him in a new, beautiful way. I had a life-altering experience in August, the week of August 20th of 1994, when Yeshua delivered me, rescued me, hallelujah, with cords of love, hallelujah. Thank you, thank you. I, this is real. If you could see what goes on around you in a realm of the spirit, glory to God, if the Lord would just peel the curtain back a little bit, folks would lose their minds. There is a raging battle going on. Hallelujah. But the greater one dwells inside of us. I'm going to trust God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When you trust God, you grow closer to him every single day. It's good to have a strong prayer life. Prayer is always the order of the day. Before you do anything, you pray. Lord, thank you. I praise you. I glorify your name. Your word is a lamp to my feet. It's a light to my pathway. Go before me. Make every crooked place straight. Hallelujah. Your mercy is anew every morning. And great is your faithfulness. Hallelujah. And, and I want to say this. In, in those times when God puts our faith to the, I want to say, the crucible and presses we see Elohim in a, in a beautiful way. Glory to God. Hmm. Uh, uh, think about this. Think about a, a speeding car that's going towards you. It went left to the center when you cried out, in the name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, he spared your life. You see Yeshua as Lord who protects you. Let me give you an example. 
I remember driving on the, the 105 going west. And a man was driving on my, in, in, in that direction going the wrong way. And the Lord showed him to me. Going 70 miles an hour. Went right by me. And, I, and he, it's like he looked at me. I looked at him. And I saw nothing but demonic all over him. And I said, Lord, thank you. Could have been head on crash. I remember another time. It was even past Santa Ana winds. We had winds that were so violent here in the valley. Trees were coming down. And I'm driving down one of the major streets in the valley. And I cross the light. I look right behind me. Seconds later, there's like a 50 foot tree that came right down. Huge trunk. Could have crashed and destroyed the car. I said, Lord, thank you. It was a matter of seconds. The tree came down. Glory to God. In the name of of Yeshua I cried out to God I said Lord thank you could have been a different outcome glory to God in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach he's a protector hallelujah glory to God he's a provider How do you look in your refrigerator and you got just a couple of things there there's nothing to eat but someone rings your bell and you don't know who it is and there's groceries on your doorstep he can do that hallelujah he provides you might have a terminal diagnosis. The medical records, the doctors, glory to God, and you come back, he's cleared you from all terminal illnesses. I don't know why God heals some and doesn't heal others. But he's the one who heals. He does everything. He's still sovereign. How do you? If you bury someone, and we all have, somebody that you love dearly, but God gives you peace about it. Hallelujah. And you're still grieving, but he gives you peace about it. How do you? He's the one that gives us shalom, gives us peace. None of us want to go through those times. But when we do, we see Yeshua in an amazing, beautiful way. Hallelujah. If you were addicted to drugs or addicted to alcohol, glory to God. Hallelujah. Couldn't find a way out. But Yeshua delivered you. He sets you free. You see, he's the one who delivers. Hallelujah. When you're lost, without hope, he's the one who saves us from our sins. Glory to God. We see him. He, he's the Lord who saves and the more we give to God, the closer we get to God. And the more we see him as this great, he's good. He is our Goel. Hallelujah. Let me quit right here. Let me just say this. Perhaps this. Saints. Perhaps God has made you a promise. Think about that. Oh, He's made you a promise. Perhaps you, uh, at an altar that you built at your home. It could be in your closet. Wherever, wherever you spend time with God. God's promised to, to save someone in your family. You have not seen it happen yet, but just because it hasn't happened doesn't mean it won't happen. Abraham can testify to that truth. He waited 25 years for this promise, son to be born. And when the time was right, God kept his word to Isaac. He's going to keep his word to you. Brother Graham, God's keeping his word to you. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. He's keeping his word to you. Anyone in the sound of my voice. Receive this in faith. Catch it in the realm of the spirit. He's keeping his word to you. Glory to God. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. And I, and I think about ministry. Maybe God's promised you an area in ministry. You haven't seen it open up or grow. Where you think it should be. You've got to keep on being faithful. Hallelujah. Keep serving Elohim. Keep serving others right where you are. Hallelujah. Don't quit. Don't grow impatient. Take matters in our own hands. If you could hear him, Abraham would be saying right now, Amen. Glory to God. And I think about Hebrews chapter number 12 and 1, the heroes of faith. Glory to God. I, I love, uh, the, in the Bible, it, it demonstrated great faith. Uh, heroes of faith. Amen. In the book of Hebrews, we, we have Abel. He was the first martyr in the Bible. We have Enoch. He was, he was, glory to God, a man. Hallelujah. That Yeshua loved. God called. Glory to God. In the name of Yeshua. Noah. He was a righteous man. Abraham. We know that. Hallelujah. He was the father 
of the Jewish nation. Sarah was the mother of the Jewish nation. Isaac, the father of, of Esau and Jacob. And Joseph, he was an interpreter of dreams. Hallelujah. Uh, right now, there's a great crowd of witnesses in Hebrews 11 and 1 that's cheering us on at this very moment. It could be a family member that's gone on to be with the Lord. Keep on doing what you're doing. Cheering us on, applauding us on, holding on to the horns of the altar. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua. I'm reminded of Bishop Queen and I had a dream and he said, son, he said, son, 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 Yeshua. And he said this emphatically, Yeshua is coming back soon. Look at the days we're living in right now. How do they, in the Synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, glory to God. It says, in the last days, r wars and rumors of wars. And all these things, nation against nation. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, we get our Greek word called eth eth ethnos. It's ethnic. We're seeing it right here in this nation right now. Glory to God. No man knows the day or the hour. But Yeshua is coming back in again. Hallelujah. Make sure you get your, your calling and election shirt. Stay light for the flight. Wear these garments lightly. Make sure you get your calling and your election sure. Glory. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua. And I want to say this. If we could walk through the gallery of faith, we would see a, a painting of an aged Abraham with a knife in his hand and relief on his face, so to speak. Under that painting, glory to God, we see the Apostle Paul said this in Romans chapter number 4, verse number 20 and 21. Paul, so Paul said this, but I said this, right below the painting he said this. How Abraham staggered, mm -hmm. staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God and being fully persuaded how to, that he, what he had promised, he was able to perform. How to, Abraham didn't know how God would keep his word, but he knew God would, Elohim would, Yeshua would, and God did. Today, as I quit here, Find some time today, have it before you go to bed this evening. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua. Get on your knees. Give God glory. Spend some time with him in prayer. Because prayer is always the order of the day. We pray first for everything. Hallelujah. And ask God what he's asking us to do. How to, we want to hear from him. And to know we can draw closer to him in a new, in a beautiful way. We got to be sold out to Yeshua. We got to give him everything. And I give God praise, I give him glory, and I give him honor. And I thank him for the word today. Hallelujah. I hope you've been blessed by this word today. Mighty God is he. May the Lord bless you, saints. According to Numbers, chapter number six, verse number 24 and 26. May the Lord bless you. I speak this on you right now. I decree it on you right now. I declare it on you right now. Lord, make his face shine upon you. Be gracious unto you. The Lord turn his face toward you to give you peace. Hallelujah. I want to do lift up some, some people that have been faithful to the ministry. And glory to God. I want to lift up Brother um, Jesse Bird. He's, he's in the hospital right now, in hospice right now, and battling. I said, Lord, just thank you for the Bird family. Sister Bernadette, I thank you for just continuing to comfort and bless them. Glory to God. I thank you. Glory to God that... He's saved, he's baptized in Yeshua's name, he's full of the Holy Ghost. We thank you for that, Lord, but I just thank you for being with the Bird family right now, and I thank you, Father. I thank you for uh, Severance Stone, I thank you for uh, Brother Didi, I thank you for just, you know, the, the words of encouragement every single day that I get on, on my phone, glory to God. I appreciate all that. I thank you for our, our loved ones, I thank you for saints of God, I thank you for our church members. I just thank everyone that's been just supportive of what we're doing here, and we just keep giving God glory. Just stay available for Yeshua. He's a sovereign God. He's a magnificent God. Amen. I continue to solicit your prayers. Everyone repeat after me. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And what I say to one, I say to all, watch and, and, and fast and, and, and pray and be a great witness for Yeshua in these last days. He's coming back again. Give God glory, give him praise in the name of Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen.